The disappearance and murder of 16-year-old Susanna Morales is a tragic case highlighting the unnecessary violence society is faced with daily. On the evening of July 26, 2022, Susanna vanished in Norcross, Georgia after visiting a friend less than a mile from her family home. 16-year-old Susanna Morales was a rising sophomore at Meadow Creek High School living with her tight-knit family in Norcross, Georgia. By all accounts, Susanna was a kind, calm, and musically gifted teenager, who was deeply loved by relatives and friends alike. Susanna lived with her mom and two older sisters, who described their household as an exceptionally close family. They often went on outings together to restaurants or movies, and simply cherished their time together. Susanna's family meant everything to her. Susanna had a long-standing passion for music and singing, frequently gathering her family to perform for them. She was masterful at piano and also spent her free time teaching herself to play guitar and ukulele. She thoroughly enjoyed expressing herself through music and sharing her songs with those she loved. At school, the popular 10th grader was a cheerleader at Meadow Creek High, well-liked by classmates for her kind, loyal, calm, and peaceful personality. She had never been one to act out or rebel. Friends described Susanna as a loyal, caring person and an amazing friend. Her cheer coach said Susanna lit up every room she entered and poured her heart into everything she did. On the evening of July 26, 2022, Susanna left her family's Norcross home around 6 p.m. to visit a friend at the nearby Sterling Glen Apartments, less than a mile away. She texted her mother Maria at 9.40 p.m. that night to say she was walking home, expecting to be back in 10 to 15 minutes. But when 10 p.m. came and went with no sign of Susanna, her family immediately began to worry. This was extremely unusual behavior for the responsible team. As the hours ticked by without any word from Susanna, her loved ones grew increasingly frantic. The next morning, July 27, Susanna's panicked family approached the Gwinnett County Police Department to report her missing. But the responding officers shockingly dismissed their concerns, insisting the family must wait 48 hours before officially reporting her missing. The police baselessly assumed 16-year-old Susanna was simply another angsty runaway teen who would eventually return home safe. But Susanna's loved ones stressed she had no history of rebellion or running away. Her sudden disappearance was deeply out of character. Still, despite the family's repeated pleas for urgency, the police refused to take action or publicize Susanna's case until 48 hours had passed. They callously disregarded the family's concerns for Susanna's safety. With the police failing to act, Susanna's desperate family took matters into their own hands. They began canvassing the town themselves, handing out flyers and talking to locals about Susanna's disappearance. They hoped someone may have seen or heard something that could break the case open. Susanna's sister also leveraged social media, posting constantly on sites like Facebook to share Susanna's story and photos. The family aimed to keep her name and image circulating as much as possible. They were determined to find answers and bring Susanna home safely. A break in the case, but no justice yet. As days turned to weeks without answers, the Morales family continued pleading for police urgency and help getting the word out about their missing daughter. Local Spanish-language station Telemundo Atlanta also started covering the case. Due to mounting public pressure, the police finally issued a public statement about Susanna on August 29, over a month since she originally went missing. However, the statement still maintained there was no indication that Morales was in any specific danger and suggested she was likely a runaway teen. The Morales family was distraught by the lack of progress and ongoing dismissive attitude. But they never gave up their search for Susanna and for justice. Tragically, over six agonizing months passed without any breaks in the case, until February 2023, when Susanna's remains were found 20 miles outside her Norcross hometown. Suspicion immediately turned to Miles Bryant, a 22-year-old police officer whose gun was discovered near Susanna's body. Further probing revealed Bryant lived in the same apartment complex that Susanna visited on the night she disappeared. Investigators also uncovered Bryant's deeply troubling history of stalking and violence against women. One accuser revealed Bryant stalked her for months, attempting to break into her home repeatedly. When she reported him to the police, according to her, he faced no meaningful consequences thanks to his badge. The emerging details painted a picture of a dangerous man with an unchecked pattern of violence, 
particularly towards unsuspecting women. It's possible that had Bryant been held accountable sooner, Susanna might still be alive today. Bryant is now facing murder charges for Susanna's death. But the Morales family continues demanding full accountability and justice. They want acknowledgement that the 48-hour police delay violated Georgia law. Most of all, they want the full truth of what happened to Susanna. While it's too late for Susanna, her grieving family hopes her story brings awareness to the urgent need for reform. The mishandling of stalking cases and missing persons cases, especially for women and girls of color, needs to end. Susanna's mother Maria tearfully told reporters, The devastation that follows the discovery that your missing child was murdered is unspeakable. But I will keep fighting in Susanna's name. The Morales family created a Justice for Susanna website detailing their reform advocacy. Their demands include a fair investigation of the police departments involved, all appropriate charges filed against Bryant, a conviction of first-degree murder for Bryant, public acknowledgement that the 48-hour policy violated Georgia law. They are also accepting donations to help fund their ongoing legal costs and create a memorial in Susanna's honor. Above all, the Morales family wants to ensure no other family faces the same dismissive response they endured. They are advocating for new policies, procedures, and training practices to take stalking and missing persons cases seriously regardless of demographics. The website says Susanna's family intends to uncover the whole truth about what happened to her, and hold all responsible parties fully accountable for their role in her tragic fate. Only then can they begin reforming the system that failed their daughter so horribly when she needed them most. While Susanna's young life ended far too soon, her family hopes through reform her legacy will be one of positive change. They envision a justice system that equitably protects and serves all members of the community, regardless of race, class, or gender. A system where victims are always believed and supported, instead of dismissed or ignored. While nothing can make up for her tragic loss, the Morales family finds purpose in fighting for reform in Susanna's name. They will not stop until they have answers, justice, and changes to safeguard young lives in the future. Susanna Morales will never be forgotten, and the fight for justice in her name goes on.